So I want to thank Laser Saber, Live Motor, and some of the others that, that I see on YouTube for inspiring us to try things. So this is a replication of um, Laser Saber's Jewel Ringer version 2. And I made this up in a couple hours. So I actually got this E core out of a dead grid tie inverter and um, just tore it apart and rewound it. Um, I wasn't as careful probably as I could have been, but I, I tried pretty hard to get this um, wound nice and smooth, but I used telephone wire. So it does have that thicker insulation as opposed to say a copper magnet wire. Um, I've got one LED bulb. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a cool gadget. So I'm running it on 12 volts, it'll run on 6. It'll run on nine, um, and the idea is you can run, you know, multiple bulbs off this one little transformer and a transistor. It's a two-component circuit. So with a transistor and a transformer, you can make light. That's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate uh, all the work you do and the inspiration. Ooh. Um, using an e core ferrite transformer and I'm using a um, 3055 transistor power transistor um, this is an LED bulb meant for you know 110 120 volt and um, I used telephone wire for the primary I just did one turn around the bobbin nice and even filled it. For the secondary I put on about it's about 30 feet of um, telephone wire. I just filled it tight. One thing I noticed on on the uh, transformer is it wants to be tight. If it's at all loose the amp draw goes up. So you want these to be very very tight together. I could use a lot more of these bulbs. They're expensive. I don't know what you guys are doing buying 11 of them, but I bought one. So as you can see, this doesn't ring at all. And I just mounted it all together. It's nice and tidy. And I can run it on 6 volts. I'll show you that. So it's kind of run down. It's like 5 volts. Now it's got ringing. So I think the way this works is this bulb is acting as a resistive load so before we bias this transistor we're basically dropping the voltage after this resistive load almost like it's a resistor and a capacitor and so I measured it I'm only getting three and a half volts biasing this with this battery since it's a uh, you know, 5.4 volts now this is barely firing it up so we're running at a much slower frequency. Alright, so we'll hook this up and we will see what the amp draw is on this. Right now we're running kind of hot. Before I was at 0.35, so we're at 0.4 amps right now. It's a bit hot. Let's try it with a 6 volt battery. We have half an amp at about five volts. I'll check the voltage in a minute. All right, so the resting voltage of the six volt dry cell is uh, 5.72. Let's hook it up and see what happens to the voltage. I know it, it drops pretty good. I've used this for a lot of experimenting. So about five volts. So we're running half an amp, five volts to fire up this bulb. 